The Nobel Prize research, Kandel, in the year 2000, his re the researcher said that if you learned one bit of information and you paid attention to that information for about an hour, you would double the number of connections in your brain as a result of your interaction with that information. But if you don't review it, if you don't repeat it, if you don't have to think about it, the circuits prune apart, right? So if learning is making new synaptic connections and remembering is maintaining and sustaining them. So it's so much easier to forget this information than to remember it. So you learn it. Once I got a person's head nodding, then they turn to the person next to them and say, let me try this out. Let me try this out and let me see if I can repeat it. And so between the two of them, they exchange that information and they start to build a model of understanding. Ah, I understand. I got that. Okay. Then we advance the information a bit more and they, they're adding new stitches into the three-dimensional tapestry of their gray matter. And they have to remind themselves what they've learned, reproduce that same level of mind. Mind is the brain in action. As you install those neurological circuits in your brain then, now you're prepared. It's the forerunner to the experience. You're prepared for the experience. So give the proper instruction, get your body involved, get involved in the process. The experience then causes the circuits to become more enriched. That's what experience does. And then it makes a chemical, and that chemical is called a feeling or an emotion. And the stronger the emotion you feel from the experience, the more you remember it. And what is that experience? What Abundance, health, wholeness, a mystical experience, success, a new relationship, a new career, um, a new life, whatever the person's, whatever, whatever that vision 